Welcome to KS Max Tuition. Today I am going to discuss about beta, about beta and gamma functions. Beta and gamma functions. What do you mean by beta functions? Beta function. Beta function. If m and n are positive integers, <coughs> if m and n are positive, m and n are positive, then the definite integral, then the definite integral, then the definite integral, 0 to 1, x raised to m minus 1, 1 minus x, the whole raised to n minus 1, dx is called beta function. If m and n are positive, if m and n are positive, then the definite integral 0 to 1, x raised to m minus 1, 1 minus x, all raised to n minus 1, dx is called a beta function. It is denoted as beta of m comma n equal to integral 0 to 1 x raised to m minus 1 1 minus x all raised to n minus 1 dx okay beta m n equal to integral 0 to 1 x raised to m minus 1 1 minus x all raised to n minus 1 dx ready <coughs> this is the definition of beta function then beta function contains some properties beta function contains some properties first property beta function is symmetric properties of beta function properties properties first property beta function is symmetric beta function is symmetric that is beta of m n equal to beta n that is the first property of the beta function first beta function is symmetric that is beta m n is equal to beta n okay we can verify this proof first be by the definition of beta function we can write beta m n equal to integral 0 to 1 x raised to m minus 1 1 minus x or raised to n minus 1 dx. Okay. Put y equal to 1 minus x. Ready? Then dy is equal to minus dx or you can write dx equal to minus dy. Okay. Then put x is equal to 0. Put x is equal to 0. Put x equal to 0. Then y equal to 1. Put x is equal to 1 x equal to 1, then y equal to 1 minus 1 equal to 0. 0 to 1, x raised to m minus 1, 1 minus x, all raised to n minus 1 dx. Here put y equal to 1 minus x, then dy equal to minus dx, or minus d, or dx equal to minus dy. Here we are going to change the variable. So put x is equal to 0, then y equal to 1. Put x equal to 1, y equal to 0. Okay. Then limit equal to integral instead of 0 to 1, we can write 1 to 0. When x equal to 0, y equal to 1. When x equal to 1, y equal to 0. 1 to 0. Instead of x, I can write 1 minus y. Because y equal to 1 minus x, then x is equal to 1 minus y. 1 minus y, the whole raised to m minus 1. 1 minus x, y raised to n minus 1. And instead of dx, I can write minus dy. Okay. That is beta mn equal to beta m n equal to integral 1 to 0 by the property of definite integral integral a to b f of x dx is equal to we can write minus integral b to a f of x dx by the property of definite integral integral a to b f of x dx equal to minus integral b to a f of x dx so beta m n is equal to we can interchange this limit in integral of 1 to 0 means we can write minus 0 to 1 minus 0 to 1 minus 0 to 1 
y raised to n minus 1 into 1 minus y all raised to n minus 1 into minus dy. Okay. Then minus into minus equal to plus. Then integral 0 to 1. y raised to n minus 1. 1 minus y all raised to n minus 1 into dy. See, by the definition of beta function, integral 0 to 1 x raised to m minus 1, 1 minus x all raised to n minus 1, dx equal to beta m n. That is adding plus 1 on this side and plus 1 this. Then it becomes as beta m n. And also we can add this minus 1, n minus 1 plus 1, n. m minus 1 plus 1, m. That is beta m n equal to beta n. Beta m n equal to beta n m. Therefore we can say that beta function is similar. Second property, beta mn equal to, beta mn equal to 2 into 0 to pi by 2 sine raised to 2m minus 1 theta cos raised to 2n minus 1 theta d theta. Second property, beta mn equal to 2 into 0 to pi by 2 sine raised to 2m minus 1 theta in the cos raised to 2n minus 1 theta d theta. We can prove this proof. See, by the definition of beta function, by the definition of beta function, we can write beta mn equal to integral 0 to 1 x raised to m minus 1, 1 minus x, all raised to n minus 1, dx. Integral 0 to 1 x raised to n minus 1, 1 minus x, all raised to n minus 1, dx. Okay. Put x is equal to sine square theta then dx equal to 2 sine theta cos theta d theta okay put x equal to sine square theta then dx equal to 2 sine theta cos theta d theta we can change the limit when x is equal to 0 when x equal to 0 sine square theta equal to 0 sine theta equal to 0 then theta equal to sine inverse 0 equal to 0. When x equal to 0, sine square theta 0. Sine square theta 0 means sine theta 0. Sine theta 0, then theta equal to sine inverse 0 equal to 0. When theta equal to sine inverse 0 equal to 0. Okay. Next, put x is equal to 1. x equal to 1. Then sine square theta equal to 1. Sine theta equal to 1 theta equal to sine inverse 1. Sine inverse 1 is equal to pi bit. Okay. Therefore, instead of 0 to 1, we can write 0 to pi bit. Ready? That is, beta mn equal to integral 0 to pi by 2. Ready? x means sine square theta, sine square theta, the whole raised to m minus 1. 1 minus x, 1 minus sine square theta the whole raised to n minus 1 dx dx means 2 sine theta cos theta d theta ready put x we can write sine square theta all raised to n minus 1 1 minus sine square theta all raised to n minus 1 and dx means 2 sine theta cos theta d theta okay that is beta mn equal to beta mn equal to 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 2, sine raised to, sine raised to 2m minus 2 theta, 1 minus sine square theta, that is cos square theta, cos square theta, all raised to n minus 1, into 2 sine theta, cos theta, d theta. Okay. Take 2 as common 10, 2 out of 0 to pi by 2, sine raised to, 2m minus 2 theta cos raised to 2n minus 2 theta into sin theta cos theta d theta that is 2 into integral 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to 2m minus 2 theta into sin theta we can add this power 
then we get sine raise to 2m minus 1 theta. Here also the part cos theta 1, 2n minus 2 plus 1, 2n minus 1. Cos raise to 2n minus 1 theta d theta. So we can write beta mn equal to beta mn equal to 2 into 0 to pi by 2 sine raise to 2m minus 1 theta cos raise to 2n minus 1 theta b theta. Okay. We can do some problems based on beta functions. Read the question. Question 1. Express. Evaluate. Evaluate. Or express. 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 Integral 0 to 1. Express. Integral 0 to 1. X raised to m. X raised to m. Into 1 minus x square. 1 minus x square. The whole raised to n. All raised to n. dx. dx. If m greater than 1. m greater than 1. n greater than minus 1. n greater than minus 1. In terms of. In terms of. Beta function. In terms of. Beta functions. Beta functions. Beta functions. X plus integral 0 to 1 x raised to n 1 minus x square all raised to n dx 1 minus x square all raised to n dx equal greater than 1 n greater than minus 1 in terms of beta functions in terms of beta functions okay <coughs> yes let us do see problem put x square equal to t solution put x square equal to then 2x dx is equal to dt. So we can write dx equal to dt by 2x. But x, x square equal to t, then we can write this is equal to dt by 2 root t. Okay. Here dx is equal to dx is equal to dt by 2 root t. That is put x square equal to t. 2x dx equal to dt. Then dx equal to dt by 2x, which is equal to dt by 2 root dt. Okay. Change the limit. When x equal to 0, then t is also equal to 0. When x is equal to 1, then t is also equal to 1. x equal to 0, t equal to 0. When x equal to 1, t equal to 1. Substitute that value. Integral 0 to 1. x raised to m. 1 minus x square. The whole raised to n dx equal to integral 0 to 1 0 to 1 okay x x means root t root t the whole raised to m okay 1 minus x square 1 minus t the whole raised to n into dx dx equal to dt divided by 2 root t okay that is <coughs> in the take this to us on 1 to 8 out of 0 to 1. Root t means t raised to m by 2. Okay. t raised to how? That is becomes as t raised to m by 2. And again, 1 minus t, the whole raised to n into dt divided by t raised to half. This t raised to half also comes in numerator. That is m minus 1 by 2. Okay. That is, this is equal to in 1 by 2 into integral 0 to 1, 0 to 1 t raised to m by 2 minus 1 by 2 t raised to m by 2 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus t the whole raised to n into dt okay that is 1 by 2 into 0 to 1 t raised to m minus 1 by 2 1 minus t the whole raised to n dt 1 minus 2 all raised to n dt okay by the definition of beta function we know that beta mn equal to integral 0 to 1 
x raised to n minus 1, 1 minus x, quarter raised to n minus 1, dx. Okay. m minus 1 plus 1 becomes as n. n minus 1 plus 1 becomes as n. Similarly, this becomes as integral 0 to 1. Integral 0 to 1, x raised to m. 1 minus x square, the hot raised to n, dx is equal to, we can do this 1 by 2 into, 1 by 2 into, beta function, beta of, beta mn equal to, beta of m minus 1 by 2 plus 1, and again n plus 1, okay, n minus 1 plus 1, n, m minus 1 plus 1, n, similarly m minus 1 by 2 plus 1, n plus 1. That is equal to 1 by 2 into beta of m plus 1, m minus 1 plus 2, m plus 1 by 2, comma, n plus 1. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, this is the expression. X plus 0 to 1, x raised to m, 1 minus x square, odd raised to m, x equal to 1 by 2 into beta of m plus 1 by 2 and n plus 1, n plus 1. Okay. Yes, Integral 0 to 1 x square by x square by root of root of 1 minus x raised to 5 dx 1 minus x raised to 5 dx in terms of in terms of beta function in terms of beta, beta function <coughs> x plus integral 0 to 1 x square by root of 1 minus x raised to 5 dx in terms of beta function See, given integral 0 to 1 x square by root of 1 minus x raised to 1 dx. This we can write 0 to 1 x square into 1 minus x raised to 5 all raised to minus 1 by 2 dx. Okay. Put x raised to 5 equal to t. Put x raised to 5 equal to t. Differentiate 5 x raised to 4 dx equal to dt. Okay. Then x raised to power dx equal to, sorry, we can write dx is equal to dt divided by 5 x raised to power. Actually x is equal to t raised to 1 by 5. x equal to t raised to 1 by 5 means we can write this dx is equal to dt divided by 5. x means stop x means we can write t raised to 1 by 5. t raised to 4 by 5. Okay t raised to 4 by 5, x raised to 4, x means x equal to t raised to 1 by 5, then t raise, x raised to 4 equal to t raised to 4 by 5, okay. Then also change the limit, when x equal to 0, then t is also equal to 0, okay, x equal to 0, t equal to 0, and x is equal to 1, then x equal to 1, then t is also equal to 1, x equal to 1, t equal to 1, okay, such so, so this while in this equation that is integral 0 to 1 x square x means t raised to 1 by 5 but t raised to 2 by 5 okay 1 minus x raised to 5 1 minus t or raised to minus 1 by 2 dx means we can write dt divided by 5 t raised to 4 by 5 okay that is 1 by 5 into Integral 0 to 1. Take this term on numerator. T raised to 2 by 5 minus 4 by 5. X raised to m by x raised to m. X raised to m minus n. 1 minus t. The whole raised to minus half d. Okay. That is 1 by 5 into integral 0 to 1. T 2 by 5 minus 4 by 5 means minus 2 by 5. Okay. 1 minus t. The whole raised to minus 1 by 2 d. By the definition of beta function, we can write this is equal to beta of minus 2 by pi plus 1, comma minus 1 by 2 plus 1. Okay. Reason, since beta mn equal to integral 0 to 1, x raised to m minus 1, 1 minus x, or raised to n minus 1, dx. m minus 1 plus 1, m. n minus 1 plus 1, n. Similarly, minus 2 by 5 plus 1, minus 1 by 2 plus 1. Simplify the term. 1 by 5 into beta of minus 2 plus 5, 3 by 5. 
comma minus 1 by 2 plus 1, 1 by 2. That is equal to 1 by 5, beta 3 by 5 into 1 by 2. Okay. The next portion will continue on next video. Thank you.